What's up guys, Matt the Riffmaster here today we're checking out the brand new Everlast Guitar Picks by the amazing Ernie Ball. So guys, this is something I have been extremely excited about. Uh, the brand new Everlast Guitar Picks by Ernie Ball. I, I've been so excited about these and when I saw them I was like wow like these are these are just like the coolest looking guitar picks a thing that I've ever ever seen in my whole life. Um so I have quite a few here. I think I have eight eight different thicknesses of guitar pick for your picking pleasures. So in no particular order I will uh, just read out the uh, thicknesses that we have. So starting off, we have a nice chunky 2 mil, and then moving on to a 0 0.60 mil, and then we have a 0.88 mil, and next up is a 1.5 mil. That's a nice solid pick. I like that one. Uh, then we've got the 1.14 mil. Uh, now, 1.14 is what I've used pretty much the whole time I've been playing guitar. Um, it's just a, a solid thickness for me. It feels great. Uh, right, next up is, what's this one? I can't see. This is a one mil, just a solid one mil. And then next is the 0.48 mil. And lastly, we have the 0.73 mil. Um, so yeah, in no particular order. Those are the thicknesses that we have to choose from here um, of the Everlast picks. So if we go up close and personal with these, we will notice that you have the classic, classic Ernie Ball slinky colours uh, on these picks, which I think is really cool. They're really colourful and they just look amazing, just like the string packages. They look amazing. And then we have the, uh, the Ernie Ball Eagle on there as well with the name Everlast across the wingspan. And then obviously Ernie Ball and then the thickness of the pick. Uh, now, I think we can agree, guys, all of us Ernie Ball lovers out there in the world and anyone really, anybody that these picks are just badass. I've, like I said, I've been so excited about these and to actually have them in my hand and feel them and see them. They're just amazing. I've been playing around with them quite a bit uh, recently, just having a feel of them all and getting used to them. And uh, the ones that I've been really, really uh, using a lot, um, I've been going for the one point one four because that's, you know, that's what I've been using a lot, like, with other picks so to have a 1.14 that looks this amazing is uh it's pretty exciting and it is a really cool color i dig it um but it feels great it feels a lot more sturdy than any of the other um 1.14s i've used in the past which is really cool uh but also the 1.5 the 1.5 is a solid beast as well and then the lovely yellow color here uh and the two the two mil is just a chunk an absolute chunk of pick uh, which is awesome. But then, yeah, some of the lighter stuff, which I think is really good for uh, some strummy stuff. I've been using it on the old acoustic guitar down here, uh, which is cool. I mean, what what I've been like, you know, lately, Ernie Ball have just been absolutely knocking it out of the park so far this year with new products, new things. And now these bad boys, it's just, it's just, uh, that's why Ernie Ball are on top. And I'm so excited to have Ernie Ball picks like this because the colors is something that everybody is drawn to with the strings and now you have that same eye pleasure with the guitar picks so let's just play around with a couple i have here the 1.14 which is my my comfort zone right there 1.14 so let's have a little play and see and have some fun and make some noise <laughs> Yes! Oh my goodness! You know what? Do you know what? What I've what I've realised is while I'm playing, not only do they feel good and they really are grippy, which is great. They are really, really grippy, durable, 
and very grippy, which is good, which is what we want because we don't want to be slipping and sliding. We've all had it when we're playing. Your guitar pick gets sweaty, it moves round and ends up the wrong way, and then it's just not practical at all to play with a big rounded end. Um, but I just know in my head what it looks like, and it makes me feel super cool. Just knowing that this pick looks like this, and I'm playing. It's a good feeling. So yeah, that's the 1.14. Let's just put that aside over here. And now let's go to the 1.15. Ah, oh, always a pleasure. <laughs> Now that 1.5, that one, oh, I think 1.5 is my second favorite there. So, you know, there's some of the thicker, thicker uh, picks that Ernie Ball have got with the Everlast. So now let's move on to the, uh, the thinner, the thinner ones. I'm just forgetting how to speak. The thinner ones and uh, we'll try some acoustic strummy stuff. So guys, just a heads up, the acoustic isn't plugged in or mic'd up. You're probably just getting it through my lav here, but just, uh, just to, you know, have a feel. So this one here is, this is a 0.73. That's new. I'm not used to 0.73 yet, or ever, I don't think. But yeah, let's just start, get some strummy stuff happening. Yes, 0.73, that, fi that feels, I like it, 0.7, let's go a bit thinner, what have you got here, this is a 0.48, this feels like, very weird, I've never really played with a pick this, this flexible before, but, let's give it some strummage. Wow, that's, um, I'll be honest, it's not my, I'm not keen on it, it's too, even just for some light strummy stuff, like, it's too thin for me, I feel like it's just folding, it's going origami on me while I'm playing, it's just, it's a bit too thin, bit too flimsy for me, but I mean, it just, there you go, you've got a wide range of guitar pick thicknesses to cater for all needs you know whether you're on the heavy stuff or you want something a bit lighter for some of the strummy stuff which i think is just like and the feel of them once you get your hands on these picks you will feel that they are long life a long sell by date uh, they just feel like they're built they're built to take your hammer in and i mean most picks i've used in my life after a while, they just chisel down, and you can really see where you've been playing most. Um, it kind of wears down a bit, but I've got a feeling that these, they're not going to wear down so quickly. Only time will tell. Just a bunch of usage on them and see where we go, but they just feel solid. And they are very, very grippy, which, like I said, 
We all need that in a guitar pick. So, I mean, all I can say is, like, massive thumbs up. If I had more than two thumbs, I'd be putting more thumbs up for the, uh, for the Everlast guitar picks. I think they're absolutely amazing. Not only do they feel good, but they look amazing. I mean, come on, the colours. The Ernie Ball Eagle on the front there. It just looks like the coolest, most metal guitar pick I've ever seen. And I totally dig it. So 100 million thumbs up to Ernie Ball for the Everlast. I'm going to be using them a lot. Uh, so if you are new, consider hitting that subscribe button and come check out some uh, upcoming covers where I'm going to be putting these picks through their paces with some serious fast riffage. So guys, I'll put the links down below where you can go read up about the Everlast uh, guitar picks by Ernie Ball. If you've been using them, let me know your thoughts on what your favorite thickness is and uh, what color that is and all that cool stuff. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, go follow me everywhere, and as always, rock out, be awesome, and I will see you very soon. See ya!